there's still more work to be done, even after a space telescope is secure in its orbits. It's necessary the telescope remains functioning as long as it's up there. That's why Hubble had servicing missions scheduled, but the last one was way back in 2009, and now we've got NASA debating if they should opt for a private mission to boost the telescope's orbit. Interested in knowing more? Keep watching then. First up, a new chance for Hubble, boosting its orbit through a private mission. Ever since Hubble was launched back in 1990, It's proven to be an astronomically useful tool for both scientists and researchers. We've made so many new discoveries in the three decades that the telescope has been in orbit. Taking all of its contributions to astronomy and cosmology into account, you can understand what a crucial piece of research instrument Hubble has been. And now we're hearing that NASA might be considering a private mission to boost the telescope's orbit. From what we've heard, this private mission would be a collaboration between SpaceX and NASA. Up next, how the Hubble Space Telescope hasn't received any upgrades since 2009. Before diving into the details about this private mission, let's take a look at how the telescope hasn't gone through any repair since 2009. The last servicing mission for Hubble made a couple of replacements, along with adding additional observation tools, which included the Wide Field Camera 3, WFC3, and Cosmic Origins Spectrograph, COS. During this last upgradation mission, they also installed a soft capture and rendezvous system that would ensure Hubble's secure disposal once the telescope stops functioning. We're nearing the end of 2020. Too. And with that, it's almost been 13 years since Hubble's last repair mission. Other than repairs and upgrades to the telescope, these missions also served to boost the telescope's orbit, which extended the life of the telescope by a couple of years. Without a boost, Hubble is expected to slowly fall back into the Earth's atmosphere. Right now, scientists at NASA have predicted that Hubble could last until 2037, but now SpaceX and NASA are considering the possibility of giving this telescope a reboost to increase its altitude, along with adding more years to how long the telescope can stay up in space. Let's take a look at what exactly SpaceX has proposed. For now, NASA and SpaceX are still wondering if such a mission is worth the risk. Hubble has been in orbit for almost three decades now, and there's a lot at stake with a private mission like this. According to Jared Isaacman, a private astronaut, giving Hubble an orbital boost would be a good thing for both science and research. After all, the telescope led to many groundbreaking discoveries in astronomy and planetary science. We can make progress for tomorrow um, without ignoring some of the hardships of today. What's more, Isaacman also also expressed the wish to pilot one of SpaceX's Dragon capsules to the Hubble Space Telescope for this private mission. If something is agreed upon regarding this mission, then it would be part of the Polaris program, the program set to launch in March 2023, and so far the goal is for Isaacman and his three crewmates to conduct the first ever spacewalk by private astronauts. Additionally, they're also looking forward to breaking the record for the highest altitude ever achieved by a manned spacecraft in Earth orbit. The record right now belongs to Gemini 11, and it was set way back in 1966. What's more, Elon Musk's space agency holds plenty of contracts with NASA already. This wouldn't be the first time Musk's private space company joined hands with NASA for a collaboration like this. Already, they've got plenty of contracts together. What's more, we found out that the American Space Agency spent somewhere around $2 billion in 2022 with SpaceX alone. So you can see that contracts between these two organizations are as strong as ever. We know that they're working together on the Europa Clipper mission, which is a multi-billion dollar funded high-profile science project. What's more, They've also got contracts ready for cargo flights to cislunar space. And we're hearing NASA might use SpaceX's Starship for landing its astronauts on the moon for the Artemis program. With that in mind, it wouldn't be a surprise if NASA decided to go ahead and support the idea of this private mission to boost Hubble's orbit. Moving on, it looks like they're already working on a feasibility study about this proposal. For now, the only progress we've heard of so far is how they're going to launch a feasibility study about the proposal. The study is going to have a duration of six months, and they're going to test if what SpaceX and Isaacman are suggesting is worth the risk. The agreement was signed on 22 September, and a week later, on 29 September, NASA's science chief, Thomas Zerbuchen, did a conference call where he told reporters that, at NASA, they're always trying out new ideas no matter how crazy they might seem. We come up with a really strong set of requirements. We actually build in reviews, a, a system level review early on. Anyway, let's get back to that feasibility study. First and foremost, scientists are going to see how likely it is that SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft can give a boost to Hubble's orbit. What's more, in the six months long investigation, they're going to ensure that the docking of the spacecraft to the telescope is stable. The last thing they're going to test in the study is if it's necessary to send a crew during this mission. And after all, there's no denying how 
how convincing SpaceX's proposal is, if there's a way to make sure Hubble stays operational beyond 2037, then of course, NASA wants to hear all about it. Coming up, how Hubble is expected to remain functional well until 2037 without any repairs. Some of you might be wondering how come Hubble remains operational if it hasn't received any repair or a boost since 2009. After all, the telescope was designed this way so it could receive maintenance in space by astronauts. When the telescope received its last servicing mission, NASA had hoped it would extend the telescope's life until 2014. That was the year they were going to launch the James Webb Space Telescope, but the JWST didn't enter orbit until December 2021. Yet Hubble remained functional despite the fact that NASA hadn't expected it to. Without any more repairs or upgrades, NASA now expects the telescope to stay functional until 2037. Let's look at if all of this will be worth the risk. With all of that in mind, it's now time to talk about if it's even a good idea to fund such a private mission. On the one hand, it would be an incredible way to expand the horizons of current technology. We've had a lot of public-private contracts in the space sector recently, and they've all shown us that through such collaborations, we can expect more advancements in the field. The other thing to take into account is the telescope's degrading orbit. It received a boost in 2009, but since then, Hubble's drifted downward by almost 30 kilometers, and it'll continue to do so until it's given another boost. SpaceX proposed to lift it somewhere between 600 and 610 kilometers above Earth. According to Scott Altman, the astronaut who commanded the last two servicing missions for Hubble, there's no need to rush this. Hubble's a great observatory, and any decision that NASA takes should be taken after considering this from every angle. Up next, Hubble captures a beautiful picture of this spiral galaxy. This latest photograph of a spiral galaxy by the telescope has all of us in awe. It's one very stunning image of galaxy NGC 5495 that's around 300 million light years away from Earth. What's more, the galaxy is a part of the constellation Hydra. A really interesting thing to note in this picture is that we don't just see this gorgeous galaxy. Some of the galaxy's beauty has been photobombed by stars belonging to the Milky Way. Ah, those stars just had to get in the way. You can spot those stars in the top left and right of the image. Still, they don't obscure this spiral galaxy's beauty. Moving on, here's some fascinating stuff about this galaxy that will wow you for sure. The European Space Agency has shared some details about NGC 5495, and one thing that you'll be excited to learn about is how this spiral galaxy is a Seifert galaxy. Now that sounds pretty sophisticated, but we'll explain what it means. Seifert galaxies are those which show a huge amount of activity at their core. Because of this, they tend to have a very active galactic nucleus. Most scientists are of the opinion that the energy for this core comes from an incredibly huge black hole. Finally, why it's such a delight to look at this picture. It's always a wonder to witness the many beauties of the universe. There's something magical about this galaxy as well. Perhaps it's how the photo has been taken in that face-on orientation so that viewers can can have a good look at both the galaxy's core as well as its sweeping spiral arms. Another fact we forgot to mention previously is that NGC 5495 is probably enveloped in a halo that lies above and below the galactic disk. This isn't too visible in the picture taken by Hubble, though. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think NASA should try boosting Hubble's orbit? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.